I brought everything inside. I was getting cold. We have a freeze warning out tonight and the traffic was getting so bad. It's about five o'clock that you, I know you couldn't hear me. These 45s were a little less than perfect using a jigsaw. I've got a painter stick here with 40 grit sandpaper on both sides. And to smooth these out and make them more compatible, I'm going to have this one in my vise. I've got the other one here and I'm gonna press them together and use this sandpaper That's a lot better fit. Looking all over for my nails. Looking all over for my hammer. Nailing 45s can be a bit tricky. What I want to do here is go ahead and start a couple of nails. I want to make sure they penetrate. Now I'll, I'll apply the glue. I'll carefully line these up and start the nailing process actually a little bit above the 45. Nothing came through, so now I can go ahead and drive those nails home. And there's my 45. Now that I have this roof established, I can put the sides on and establish where they go. I think if I were to make this again, I would make this the roof six inches instead of the five I have here. I can line this up and then outline the roof and outline the sides. Get my trusted Stanley and yeah, that's pretty straight. So it's an inch and a half that side, inch and a half that side. So now I can flip it over. Ah, there goes my pencil. I know this is the bottom. I can come in an inch and a half on this side. And an inch and a half on this side. And again, using my square This is the outside of the frame because this is a little tricky to nail this side in. You go ahead and start these nails right here. And just to double check, I'm gonna make sure I'm inside the lines here. And it looks like both of these nails will hit, although I really don't like this one. It's a little too far to the side. So I'm gonna reestablish it a little bit closer.
Now, because this is so tricky to nail, because you don't have anything solid over here, I'm gonna glue this right along that line. And I'm gonna use plenty of glue. And I'm also going to glue on the lid. So I'm going to put everything right here. Now, no clamps here. I'm just going to wait for this glue to set up before I try to nail it. It's going to be a long wait. It's been about 20 minutes and these feel pretty solid. So I'm pretty sure I can turn it over. I'm not exactly sure though I can nail that on there yet. I think I'll start with the roof. Well, I lost the footage. I guess I didn't take it or something. And so I've reproduced it. This is a reenactment of what I did. I want to start with the roof, gluing it on here. I've done exactly everything that I had done before. I want to make sure that I hit that roof. And so I've got a couple of marks there. And that should be the outside of the roof line. Uh, every YouTuber, sooner or later, loses footage. Now, before I drive these home, I always like to see and make sure they're not going through anywhere. Because if they were, now I could still pull them out. And once you drive them home, it's really hard. What happens to me is that I put my hearing protection over my hearing aids and that activates Siri and when Siri comes on the video goes off but I promise there wasn't any magic or voodoo involved this is exactly what I did before Ooh, that felt like it came out. Nope. <clears throat> now, because I didn't put any clamps on here, I'm afraid that if I start nailing here, that that's just going to break it off. So I put a little support piece here, and that way I have something to drive into. And I could do the same thing on the other side. This flat part here requires a little bit of a railing, but it's just three quarter inch by three quarter inch. And I know I've got plenty of scraps around here to do that. So instead of cutting into that one by 10, I found some scraps. And that gets you caught up. Yeah, that was easy enough. No problem. Now, I need to support this above that. And I think these scraps will work. Now, the plans call for fancy mitered corners. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use this board to measure three quarters of an inch in. And then I'm gonna use this to decide where I cut that. 
And then I'm going to use this to decide where I cut this. And then I'm going to cut it. Plenty of glue. Squared it up. Ah, looks like that moved a little bit, so I need to check it for squares again. Now I can measure this. And another coin. Well, there it is. I just need to wait for the glue to dry. Is this the best birdhouse I've ever built? Certainly not. But I do remember a day when the only power tool I had was a scroll saw. And it's a great skill builder. Uh, my miters aren't perfect. If you look really close, you'll see that this wall doesn't even come up to where it belongs. But I don't think the robins are going to care that much. And if you're in the place I was 40 years ago with a scroll saw, a hammer, and a couple of clamps, it's a great place to start. Thanks for watching.